welcome back from your break. What we are going to do in this part of the lesson is we're actually going to look at how you can use what you have just learned about scientific method variables and things like that to actually be able to answer specific questions that might be asked of you. I'm also going to try and help you to understand how to, if you are given an experiment that you've never seen before, how can you look at it and work out what is happening so that you can actually answer the question? Remember, any question you are asked has to be related to the content matter that you have done. So, what we're going to look at now is we are going to be using our knowledge of variables and how to write scientific reports more specifically, what is an aim, what is a hypothesis, and how are they different, and then how to write a conclusion. And from what we did in the first half of the lesson, you should be able to see that they actually are linked quite closely together. What we are doing now is we're looking at an experiment that was done. I'm going to explain it in quite a bit of detail and help you to actually follow through so that you can think out the answers to the questions. So, let's have a look at the experiment. Okay, here's a picture of what has been set up. Four fresh leaves, equal size, from the same plant were treated in different ways. One had no petroleum jelly. Now, petroleum jelly is actually Vaseline. Okay, Vaseline is a type of petroleum jelly. So please don't get confused by petroleum jelly. It's simply Vaseline. So leaf number one, no Vaseline on it at all. Leaf number two, upper surface covered with Vaseline. Leaf number three, lower surface covered with Vaseline. And the last one, both surfaces covered. Now, you might think, huh? What will putting petroleum jelly or Vaseline on a leaf, how will that affect anything? The important thing to remember is petroleum jelly will not let air or water pass through it. So basically, in this leaf, we are sealing the leaf. We are blocking the stomata so nothing can get in and out of the plant. In this one, we are blocking only the stomata on the lower surface. Here, we are blocking the stomata on the upper surface. And here, there's no blockage of the stomata at all. Now, let's see what happens after a few hours. And you straight away are going to think, oh, this is easy. But there's a catch because the leaves are not in the same order as in the picture. They have been rearranged and you basically have to work out which of these leaves here, A, B, C, or D, which of those has no petroleum jelly? Both surfaces covered. So this tests to see if you can understand what is actually happening in the experiment. So let's have a look at the types of questions that could be asked. First of all, in this experiment, what are your variables? What is your 
independent variable. And remember, that's the variable that you are changing. What is the dependent variable? And that is what you are measuring. And what are the fixed variables? And in this case, you should be able to find at least two fixed variables. So let's have a look. Independent variable, what are you changing? Which part of the leaf is covered? Dependent, what are you measuring? You're looking at the leaf to see how much it has shriveled up. Has it kept its shape or has it shriveled up? Fixed variables. What do you need to keep exactly the same? And here you need to think of the other factors that would affect transpiration. So you keep the leaves in exactly the same conditions. For example, they must all have the same temperature. They must all have the same light. They must all have the same humidity. They must all have the same wind. So that you know that it's not the temperature, light, humidity, or wind that is actually causing the leaves to behave in a different way. Then the last one is you need to have leaves that are basically the same size to start and you need to have leaves that are from the same plant. And we'll talk about later why you need to have leaves from the same plant. Then, next thing we're looking at is, well, what is this experiment trying to prove? What is the aim of the experiment? And just before the break, we talked about how to write an aim. Then, the second question is, well, um, which leaf is the one that was covered in petroleum jelly on both sides? In other words, you have to look at the experiment and think about how it is related to what you have just learned in transpiration. And give a reason for your answer. So, let's look at the aim. So, in the aim, you're looking to see... That is your first word, your investigation word. Okay, then your second one is which surface of the leaf, top of the leaf, bottom of the leaf, loses the most water. So that's your relationship, loses the most water. And the independent variable is transpiration. Then... Looking at number three, which leaf had petroleum jelly on both sides? And if you look at the pictures, it would be the leaf that has not lost any water. So it would obviously be leaf A. And the reason for your answer is leaf A has not lost any water. Then, more questions are asked. For example, which leaf had no petroleum jelly? And that should by now be quite easy to work out. It's got to be leaf D because that poor leaf has shriveled up completely. In other words, it's lost more water than any of the others. So it obviously was the one that had no petroleum jelly on it. Then the next one is give a valid conclusion. Okay, so if we look at this, we can see D. Why is it D? Because it lost the most water. So it must be the one that didn't have any Vaseline on it. Then give a valid conclusion. Okay, and here you have to think out what what is actually happening here? What, what, what are we actually trying to prove? What is this experiment telling us? We can see that leaves that have Vaseline on it lose less water. But if you have a look at these two leaves, they both had Vaseline on one side of the leaf. One was the upper side of the leaf only. The other one was the lower side of the leaf. And 
they look different now. The one has shriveled more than the other. Which is the one that has shriveled the most? The one that had, oh dear, Vaseline on the upper surface or the lower surface? And the one that shriveled most is the one that had Vaseline on its upper surface only. Because most plants have more stomata on their lower surface than on the upper surface. So if the lower surface is open, it's going to lose a lot of water. This one, the lower surface was covered in Vaseline. The upper surface wasn't. So it lost some water through the upper surface, but not as much as leaf C. So your conclusion is all about which side of the leaf loses most water. And here you could say leaves with the lower surface covered by petroleum jelly lost the least amount of water and wilted or shriveled less. And that tells us that leaves lose most water through their lower surface, which means that there are more stomata on the lower surface. So this entire experiment is all about looking at which surface of a leaf loses more water. looks as though we've run out of time, but in the lesson notes, there is one more question for you to answer on the scientific method and this particular experiment. See you next time.